It's a martial art, a dance, a fight. But for these young Angolans, capoeira is above all a way to get in touch with their history. The Portuguese, the first to leave their colonial footprint on Africa, arrived in what is now Angola in the 15th century. By the mid-1800s, as many as four million Africans had been captured and shipped across the Atlantic. A capoeira. Capoeira started as a traditional dance among the African slaves sent to Brazil. For them, it was like a cry for freedom. Through movement and music, the slaves who spoke different languages were able to communicate. But capoeira was also conceived as a self-defense technique. Performed close to the ground, it combines fluid moves with kicks and sweeps. Capoeira's similarity with Angolan traditional dance and its use of local instruments like the berimbau make it unmistakably African, an empowering fact for these young capoeiristas. I know capoeira is from here and now it's practiced around the world. So I'm very proud because it's ours, its roots are here. I'm never going to stop practicing. I'll continue because I love capoeira. Many people still see capoeira as a Brazilian invention. But this will certainly change as the discipline becomes more and more popular and its true African origins harder to ignore.